It started with the Southwest Airlines flight because you know they have those low, low fares from Atlanta to New Orleans, and they even had the gate decorated in Mardi Gras theme. They were playing music and passing out beads. Southwest for the win. After our short one hour and some change flight, we hopped in a cab at the airport for $36 and headed downtown to where the Zulu parade was just getting ready to begin. I do recommend if you're flying in on Mardi Gras day that you take a taxi because they're regulated and they have a flat rate, whereas the ride shares such as Uber and Lyft will have surge pricing. A lot of the streets are blocked off on Fat Tuesday, so the taxis promise to get you as close as they can to your destination. We were downtown in a few short minutes because there was no traffic. We made it. See, I'm gonna get where I can catch something. The night before, I downloaded a parade tracker app to my phone so I could see exactly where the parade was when we landed and to know where to tell the taxi driver to drop us off at. Our taxi dropped us off at Poydras and St. Charles Street and it was a little packed over there so we decided to head down to Canal Street where there was more space to watch the parade. Once we made it over to Canal Street, we had a much better view of the parade and more space to move around. The Zulu Parade had a total of 44 floats, including marching bands and dance groups. We were able to watch the entire parade and got to catch a little bit of the next parade after Zulu, which was Rex.
best beads and trinkets are thrown out at the Zulu parade and even though we had a great spot, it was a fight to catch those good ones. The Zulu parade left the downtown area around 2 p.m. and we still had some time to spare so we headed over to get some cool refreshing adult frozen beverages before the next parade started. We watched a little bit of the Rex Parade and then decided to do some exploring and walking around. My friend wanted to see the famous carousel bar from the movie Girls Trip, so we headed over there. After we left the carousel bar, Bourbon Street was just two streets over, so we headed over there because my friend had never been, and Bourbon Street was Bourbon Street as usual. That's where the party was. So we hung out there for a few and then started to look for transportation back to the airport. The Ubers and Lyfts had surge pricing out of this world, but luckily we saw a taxi sitting at a red light and was able to flag him down and made our way back to the airport. Our taxi driver knew all the shortcuts and got us to the airport at 4.30 for a 6.10 p.m. flight. Overall, we spent about six hours in New Orleans on Fat Tuesday. I was tired and worn out, but would I do it again? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> 